Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, just a quick video on how to use my presets. Um, I made this post on my community tab a couple days ago, and so this video is just kind of explaining sort of uh, how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to search uh, Betaflight Configurator 10.8. Uh, the first tab is going to be for the nightlies. We don't want that. What we're looking for today is uh, release candidate one. Um, and if you're watching this video in the future, uh, for just the latest release. Um, so we don't want this beta flight configurator nightlies repo. We just want the beta flight configurator repo. Uh, so go ahead and click on that. Uh, and yep, we can see here that it says release candidate one, which is currently what we're looking for. We're going to scroll down to assets. Um, and you'll download your uh, installation file for your operating system. Uh, if you're on Windows, it's this EXE. If you're on Mac, it's this DMG. Uh, and if you're using these others, you know, you know, you know what you need. Uh, so uh, go ahead and download that and install it. You can have two like, different versions of the configurator installed at once. Um, I don't do that. I just install the latest and then I update my entire fleet of quads at once. It's kind of a little bit of work, but then I always have all my quads on the same firmware. Um, so yeah, do it however you want. Um, once you have that downloaded, go ahead and open it. Okay, so we're gonna have to pause right there. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was you actually have to update the quad uh, itself to Betaflight 4.3 release candidate one, um, or whatever the latest full release is. If this is sometime in the future and you downloaded a full release of the 10.8 configurator. Um, regardless, uh, go ahead and uh, update the quad to the 4.3 RC1 as well. If you're not sure how to do that, um, just look up a video on how to update your quad's firmware. It's, it's no different for um, 4.3 release candidate one. Um, so yeah, definitely go ahead and uh, do that before continuing. Uh, and now on to the rest of the video. Uh, plug in your quad or don't. Now you can just click connect and it brings up your menus, which is super nice. Uh, go ahead and go to the presets tab. We're going to go in this top right and click on preset sources. And you can see Betaflight official presets, can I delete this, uh, is the one that has this little check, which means it's active. Um, but we're going to go to add new source. Um, and I will have this information to copy and paste probably in a comment, because if I put it in the description, it will like lop the link off it's super annoying um, but we're just going to grab them from the comment on my community post here uh, so the name actually you can name it anything you want the name doesn't really matter um, but i'm just going to copy the name uh, then also the url uh, which is here to my url for the preset library that i made which actually is here and it's not what i wanted though um, back to beta flight and then for the GitHub branch, uh, this is important. This has to, this must be this exact thing as well as the URL. Uh, go ahead and hit save and then hit make active and then hit okay. And now this is my preset library. <clears throat> um, so this is sort of always subject to change. Um, I'm usually tweaking and updating things, um, so sorry. Um, but uh, so by default, tune is selected. You can select other uh, categories here. Um, and so this is the default. Um, I didn't label any of my stuff official. All my stuff is labeled community. So if it says official, um, that is pulled from the official beta flight library. Um, so these are like the defaults if you need to go back to the default still. I also kept the karate style tune because I know that's like a really good tune. Um, and then outside of that, I've got a tune for the prototype five. Um, I've got a tune for the four inch four ride if you're using like 22 millimeter motors um, on three or four S. Um, specifically for 3450 KV, you can use this for other um, four inch quads or a four ride using different motors. Um, and I'll explain some of the options for that in a moment. Uh, a tune for the QAVS. Oh, by the way, these are all success tunes. You can try on like 4S and stuff, but it may not be a great tune. Uh, Golden Cheese, this is a generic, like just try it on a five inch. Um, will be probably pretty good for a lot of quads, but not really great on any quads. Um, a two to three S tune for the Toothpick 3, there are options for that, and a quick whoop tune. Um, and so well, when I talk about options, uh, for example, if we click on the prototype five here, there's this options section. Uh, Pay attention to these. So this one toggles dynamic idle on and off. 
Um, it's enabled by default, but you need bidirectional D shop for that. Um, so actually, we'll just read through the notes. So this is a tune only, not filters. This is just a, this is just PIDs and stuff. This is just the tune. This is not the filters. Um, it's recommended to use with my five inch clean build RPM filter um, and my smooth RC or my smooth freestyle RC smoothing. You don't have to use those. You can just use the tune. Um, the recommended ESC settings are 30% ramp up, 23 degrees of timing, and 48k PWM. You don't necessarily have to do that, but they're just the D or the recommendations that I have for you. Um, and then the options here. So uh, light action cam is what's defaulted. It's like a session, a Hero 7, Run Cam 5 Orange, the new DJI cam. Um, if you use a heavier cam, uh, deselect this and select the heavy action cam. If you use like a Hero 8, 9, or 10, or the old bigger DJI camera, the Osmo Action or whatever it was called. Um, and then, uh, or you can just select neither of them and just not have an action cam sort of thought into the tune, there are adjustments to the PIDs for that. Um, and then if you're using uh, motors that are over 1800 kV, go ahead and select this option. Um, so like for me, I fly a uh, Hero 5, I'm sorry, not a Hero 5, a Hero 5 session, um, and I don't really have a quad plugged in, but um, I have one quad that's under 1800 kV and one quad that's over 1800 kV, so you would select this uh, appropriately if you're over 1800 kV. All that really is is a motor limit. Um, but the secret is uh, over 800 kV is too much. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need that top end. Uh, so uh, just like, just trust me, um, give it a shot. Uh, if you're over 800 kV, select this, um, your quad will fly better. Um, but anyway, um, so that's sort of, uh, and other tunes have similar options, um, like the Golden Cheese tune has the exact same options. Um, same with the QABS, same options. Uh, the Whoop, uh, does not have the same options, only it has an option for over uh, 20,000 kV. Um, this is assuming that you're on 1S. Um, and then the toothpick has a couple options here, um, just uh, 3S and 2S. You don't necessarily have to click one. Um, neither of them have motor limits or anything. They're just slightly different PIDs. Um, and they also set the marker um, for when you like plug in a battery, it'll automatically switch to like the 3S tune or the 2S tune. Um, other than that, um, it's just slightly boosted PIDs for 2S. Um, the 4 eyes a little trickier. Um, still have the dynamic idle, but there's sort of two groups here. So one of them is your all-up weight. Um, if you're around 350 uh, or if you're around 400, if you don't select anything, it just really sets it to the 350 gram um, setting. Uh, but those are just slightly boosted PIDs depending on your, on your weight. Um, and then the KV selection um, is a motor limit. And this is kind of explained down here. So like cell count selections um, and what they do. So cell count selections are intended for 3450 KV, 22 or 34 motor. Um, the cell count selections, I spelled control wrong, uh, control the auto cell count and the motor output. So um, all these are doing is setting your motor output. Um, so if you go to 4S, it sets like an 84% uh, motor output limit. Um, and then 3S sets your motor output limit back to 100%. If you don't select either of them, your motor output limit will just be 100%. Um, and uh, it also sets your like auto switching um, setting to either three or four cells when you plug in your battery it'll automatically switch um, if you're not using these motors don't don't select either like yeah, any of these um, and never select both um, same thing with it like if you just select dynamic idle and flash you're good these are just meant to be like oh i use a 3450 kb on 4s it'll just automatically set your motor output and your cell count for you um, and again these just boost the pids um, slightly for heavier quads um so sorry if that's kind of confusing maybe i should reconsider how i do that if i have to make a video on what options to check uh maybe it's not intuitive uh but yeah anyway um so that is that um going over some of the filters um i don't have nearly as many so the first one is a non-rpm filter i use this on whoops um so like on a whoop with an f411 board um, you can run RPM filtering, but then you have to run a 4K PID loop and you have to run like uh, DSHA 300. And it just, uh, honestly, it flies better. Um, I feel like if you just run DSHA 600 in 8K PID loop and then just don't do RPM filtering and use this filter, 
Um, so anyway, this uh, sets up five notches on the SFDT filter uh, or SDFT filter. Um, and yeah, it's good for whoops or just quads that don't have RPM filtering for some reason. Like if you have like a Beast H7 where that's broken, um, these, are, these are fine filters. Um, then we have the clean build four inch five inch RPM filter. Uh, this just sets up um, for a four inch or a five inch. Um, it sets your RPM filter settings. Um, it sets, yeah, just all of your filters. Uh, the only option is for an F4 board. If you're using RPM filtering and you're on an F4, that means you're probably running DSHOT 300 and you're almost definitely running a 4K pit loop. Um, and you need a gyro low pass too if you're running a 4K pit loop. Uh, I don't care what anybody says, you just need one. Um, it's to prevent aliasing because the gyro natively runs at 8K. And so when your pit loop is half that, you get weird like stepping and you're. It, Trust me, you just need a low-pass filter. Um, so this sets a low-pass filter at uh, 825 hertz um, on gyro two. That's all that setting changes. Um, so yeah, be sure to select that if you're using an F4 at 4K. Um, I also have one for toothpicks. Um, has the same setting option here. Um, and the big difference is the toothpicks have the RPM filter a little lower. Um, well, a little lower frequency, a little more filtering. Um, and also it runs two niat or two notches on the uh, SDFT dynamic notch. Um, the frames are so soft, um, you start to get a loose arm. That second notch is just there to help protect you. Plus the AIOs are super noisy. I just find it more, like it runs better, uh, a little bit more gyro latency, but it still flies really well. So um, those are the three main filters that I have. Uh, I also have a couple OSDs in here, um, an analog OSD that's pretty simple. Um, it just has the, um, let's see, where's my stuff? Da, 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 da. It kind of has a lot of info here, um, but it's basically just RSSI, a couple of timers, uh, milliamps, and just battery stats put in an appropriate place. It is set up for an ant light. Um, it should work on a lot of stuff, but I know some cameras with a different amount of TV lines like shift stuff around, so it might not be perfect. The DJI one though is awesome. Highly recommend using that. It fits everything inside of like, it can almost looks like it's built into the DJI OSD. Super, super nice. Uh, just adds uh, RSSI, um, some battery stats like voltage per cell uh, and a couple other things. But uh, highly recommend if you use DJI, you check out my OSD um, and uh, outside of that, my rates are in here. I have cinematic rates, freestyle rates, and racing rates you can try. Um, and all of this stuff will apply to whatever um, profile you have selected. So if you have like profile one selected and you load up a tune, it will apply it to profile one. If you have rate profile one and you load up rates, they will assign to rate profile one. It doesn't assign like three of them at once or anything. Uh, so that's just a quick tip. Uh, and let's see, lastly here, uh, I do have RC link stuff in here. Uh, I took a stab at making something for Express LRS um, because I know a lot of people use that. Um, I use Ghost um, and Red Pine actually on my Whoop. Um, so these just set up uh, Ghost um, and Red Pine. Um, it just, yeah, sets up stuff that you would need. Um, it actually, um, all of my stuff sets the defaults first and then it applies my stuff. Um, so what you're seeing is a lot of this um, is not me, that's just the defaults being applied. Um, but it sets your feed forward averaging, it sets your provider, turns ghost on, turns RC smoothing on, um, and sets up some feed forward stuff for you. Um, same with the Express LRS stuff. Um, it does the exact same thing, it just turns on Express LRS um, instead. Um, so those are there for you to try if you use Express LRS, Ghost, or Red Pine. Um, and then I do have an RC smoothing. Um, these are the stock ones. Um, the Smooth Freestyle and Smooth Racer. Um, the Smooth Freestyle uh, is really made for anything that's a static link over 150 hertz. Um, so if you're using Crossfire Locked, if you're using Tracer, if you're using Ghost, if you're using Express LRS, this will work great. Um, with the racing, it should work on just about anything. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, those are my presets. Um, my modes are in here. Those are probably useless to you because uh, it's for my radio, uh, but uh, yeah. So I hope uh, you guys found this 
uh, helpful or interesting and hopefully not too long at 15 minutes. Uh, sorry. Well, anyway, uh, I will keep it short as I can. Have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them, help you. Um, if you just have like general tuning questions, I can give it a shot to, to help. So yeah, good luck guys uh, and happy flying.